please take note as to where you are saving this file. It's easy to click on the desktop icon and save it on your desktop for now. Also, make sure that you rename the file. Notice the Save as File type is Text Document. Please do not open this document. There's no need to do that, and we don't want you to do anything to the document that will affect the import into the Excel program. Again, do not open the document. Now it's time to locate the Excel program on your computer. Perhaps it's on your desktop. Perhaps you need to click on the Start button. It may be in the Start lineup, as you can see to the left. It may be that you'll have to hover over your All Programs and look under your Microsoft Office tools. Double click to get into the program. Click on File, Open. Navigate to your desktop because you know that is where you stored your TXT file. If you have a lot of stuff on your desktop, it's very difficult to find. So, under File Name, type asterisk.txt txt and only the txt and your folders will come up. You'll be able to locate it right away. That was an oops because you will not see any files because it's looking for only Excel files. If you type in asterisk.txt and under files of type look for text files only you will only see the text files or the .pm or .txt or .csv, which is the comma-separated value files. This way you won't be looking at JPEGs and Adobe PDFs, and you'll find your document more quickly. Now you have summoned the text import wizard. Notice it's looking for a delimited file. Remember how we clicked comma delimited back in ML Exchange? We're going to be selecting the same thing in Excel so that the two programs can marry each other. Click Next. Now you're in step two of three of the text import wizard. Please make sure that comma is checked. Notice how the columns actually form themselves in the window. Click Finish.
Now we'll take you through that just one slide at a time so you can see the process. Once you have completed your spreadsheet, click on File, Save As, and Save As Type Microsoft Office Excel Workbook so it will have a .xls extension.